Imagine a world where your electric vehicle EV could drive a million miles without ever needing a new battery. That may sound like science fiction, a far-off goal confined to concept cars and speculative technology blogs. But for Elon Musk and Tesla, this isn't a distant dream, it's a strategic plan already in motion. Musk has boldly stated, the cars currently being built are all designed for a million miles of operation. The drive units are designed and tested and validated. For a million miles of operation, the new battery pack that's probably going to production next year is designed explicitly for a million miles of operation. The entire vehicle, battery pack inclusive, is designed to operate for a million miles with minimal maintenance. These aren't throwaway marketing slogans. They're part of a calculated effort to revolutionize not only the battery but the entire EV ecosystem. From the way vehicles are built to how they're used, shared, and even monetized. Leaked industry reports have intensified this excitement, suggesting that Tesla is on the verge of releasing a new vehicle. The highly anticipated Model 2, priced at an astonishingly low $10,799. This budget EV will reportedly be powered by the next generation. 4680 Gen 2 Battery Construction activity spotted at Tesla's Gig in Nevada, and the Megalop facility suggests full-scale production of these new battery cells is underway, further reinforcing these reports. But this isn't just about building a cheaper EV. It's a complete overhaul of how batteries are designed, how long they last, and how they interact with the vehicle and the owner. It's a signal that we're possibly witnessing the death of the traditional lithium-ion battery paradigm and the dawn of something entirely new, something bigger, more efficient, and vastly more durable. So, the real question is, how much of this is realistic? Is the million-mile battery a genuine breakthrough or just another Elon-fueled hype wave? At first glance, it's easy to assume this is more of Tesla's infamous overpro- But dive into the science, and the story gets much more compelling. Tesla has been collaborating with world-renowned battery researcher Dr. Jeff Dan and his team at Dalhousie University. Their peer-reviewed studies on lithium iron phosphate LFP and nickel-based chemistries have yielded groundbreaking results. In controlled lab environments, these cells have endured over 13,000 full charge discharge cycles where a full cycle refers to charging the battery from 0% to 100%. If you average that against a daily driving range of about 180 miles, that equates to more than 2.3 million miles of potential range, or roughly 3.7 million kilometers. That isn't just marketing spin, it's hard data. More importantly, when these batteries are operated in optimal charge, ranges between 20% and 80% state of charge, they retain over 93% of their capacity even after a decade of continuous use. Imagine driving your EV every day for 10 years and still having nearly the same range as the day you bought it. In today's EV landscape, where most batteries start to show notable degradation after just a few years, this kind of performance is revolutionary, the implications are especially enormous for commercial fleets and Tesla's anticipated robotaxi service. Four vehicles expected to run around the clock, potentially racking up more than 100,000 miles a year. Having a battery that lasts 10 to 20 years changes the entire economics of transportation. It slashes operating costs, extends service life, and reduces environmental waste, making EVs not just cleaner but smarter and cheaper in the long run. And that's where the Tesla Model 2 enters the equation. This vehicle isn't just another low-cost Evitz designed to be a financial instrument, a car that earns while it drives and even while it's parked. With its expected price tag of just $10,799, minimal maintenance costs, and fuel savings, it can quickly become a net positive asset. Thanks to Tesla's autonomous driving software and its planned robotaxi network, the Model 2 can generate passive income when not in use by the owner, operating independently and safely to ferry passengers. Essentially, your vehicle becomes your business partner. Now, let's dig into what makes this next-gen battery the 4680 Gen 2 so transformative. At first glance, the upgrade from Gen 1 to Gen 2 may seem modest. The Gen 1 cells measure 46, 2000 in diameter, and 80 millimeters in height whereas Gen 2 ups the height to 90 mm. That 10 mm increase might not sound like much, but it leads to an 18 to 20% increase in internal cell volume. This boosts energy storage by 15 to 20% per cell, depending on the chemical composition. For context, Gen 1 cells store about 26 AM powers of charge. With Gen 2, that could rise to 30 or even 32 AM. This change enables Tesla to extend vehicle range without increasing the overall size of the battery. Pack a crucial factor for keeping the Model 2 lightweight and affordable while still delivering 250 to 300 miles of real-world range. Another benefit is simplification. Fewer cells are needed to achieve the same or even greater energy output. For example, a Tesla Model Y uses roughly 900 to 960 Gen 1 cells in its battery pack. With Gen 2, that number could drop by up to 25%. 
Fewer cells mean fewer weld points, fewer connections, and fewer opportunities for failure. This simplification streamlines manufacturing, reduces production costs, and increases factory efficiency, while also making the battery pack easier to maintain. But improvements in energy density and design are only part of the story. A major challenge in EV battery design is heat management, especially during fast charging or under high performance conditions. Heat is generated at the electrodes and through internal resistance, and if not managed properly, can lead to thermal runaway a dangerous and potentially destructive event. The taller Gen 2 cell design improves the surface area to volume ratio, which enhances heat dissipation, combined with new thermal interface materials and redesigned cooling plates. Gen 2 cells distribute heat more evenly across the battery pack, reducing hot spots and improving safety and longevity. Tesla also maintains its innovative Tables' electrode architecture in Gen 2. Traditional battery cells use tabs as small metal strips that connect the electrode layers to the battery's terminals. These tabs increase electrical resistance and create points of localized heating. Tesla's Tables' design allows current to flow across the entire edge of the electrode sheet, significantly reducing resistance by as much as 50% and allowing for much faster charging. This innovation supports ultra-fast charge rates exceeding 250 kilowatts while enhancing thermal control, efficiency, and overall battery performance. On the chemistry front, Tesla is moving away from expensive and ethically problematic nickel NMC formulas toward lithium iron phosphate LFP cells. LFP batteries are not only about 30 to 40 percent cheaper to produce, they are also safer and more sustainable. Nickel and cobalt prices have been notoriously volatile, with cobalt reaching up to $35,000 per ton, and are often sourced from politically unstable regions like the Democratic Republic of Congo, where mining practices have raised serious human rights concerns. In contrast, LFP batteries are chemically stable and have a higher resistance to thermal runaway. With a threshold around 270 degrees Celsius compared to 210 degrees Celsius in NMC cells, while LFP offers slightly lower energy density at about 160 watt-hours per kilogram compared to over 200 WH per kilogram in NMC, Tesla overcomes this with the increased volume of the Gen 2 4680 cells and advanced electrode design. Closing the performance gap without sacrificing cost or safety, Tesla also integrates dry electrode technology acquired from Maxwell Technologies. This manufacturing method eliminates the use of toxic solvents and significantly reduces energy usage by up to 40% while enabling thicker electrodes and improved volumetric energy density. Together, the combination of Gen 2 4680 cells, Tables' design LFP chemistry, and dry electrode processing results in a battery that is safer, more affordable, and far more scalable than anything else on the market. Why was this shift 24680, Gen 2, inevitable? Because conventional lithium-ion batteries, as groundbreaking as they once were, have fundamental limitations. Most lithium-ion EV batteries begin to degrade significantly after about 300,000 to 500,000 miles of use. For heavy drivers or commercial fleet operators, degradation can become noticeable just a few years after purchase. Factors like frequent, fast charging, aggressive driving, and extreme climates all accelerate this decline. Additionally, material costs for lithium-ion batteries have skyrocketed in recent years. Lithium, for instance, peaked at over $80,000 per ton in 2022, combined with fragile global supply chains and the environmental toll of mining. These factors expose the unsustainability of relying solely on traditional lithium-ion technology. Tesla's 4680 Gen 2 battery is designed specifically to overcome these limitations, providing longer life, greater safety, and lower cost through local sourcing and smarter chemistry. And all of this wouldn't be possible without Tesla's unique manufacturing strategy. Giga Texas, now the epicenter of Tesla's battery innovation, is the first and only facility producing 4680 Gen 2 cells with dry electrode technology at scale. Located alongside Model 2 production lines, this vertical integration allows Tesla to minimize logistics costs and maximize production speed. By 2026, Giga Texas aims to produce over 100 gigawatt hours annually enough to power up to 2 million vehicles per year. In addition, Tesla is building Giga Mexico, a new plant optimized for low-cost EV production, future robo-taxi scaling, and Gen 2 battery logistics. Positioned in northern Mexico, the factory will leverage lower labor and infrastructure.